The Raptors made some shots. They're now within 48 minutes of going to the NBA Finals. We heard Nick Nurse talk about his superstar, Kawhi Leonard. I want to hear what you have to say about what you've watched from number two for Toronto over the last couple, three games. Well, what I've watched the Toronto Raptors do, mainly led by Coach Nick Nurse and obviously the star player that is Kawhi Leonard, is make all of us, including myself, look like absolute positive idiots. That's really what this comes down to. Kawhi Leonard is simply on another level and everybody else is just spectating. That's what this comes down to in this particular series. We looked at Kawhi Leonard, 15 of his 35 points in the fourth quarter, 22 points in the second half. Fred Van Vliet comes off the, comes off the bench. He contributes seven three-pointers. You got to remember, this is after Norman Powell and others came off the bench to do what they did. They outscored Milwaukee by 20 tonight on their bench. The last game, they outscored them by 25 via their bench. So you're getting bench production from Toronto, and you're getting a star, albeit injured, playing like a superstar. And that's what this comes down to. On the flip side, you're not getting that from the Greek freak. We're seeing his limitations. He's limited with his post moves. He's limited when they crowd the lane. He doesn't have any mid-range game to speak of. And on top of it all, they have a starting point guard in Eric Bledsoe. He may have had 20 points tonight, nine points in the second half. But when it really, really counted, they practically dared him to shoot because they knew he wasn't going to make a perimeter shot. And not only that, you didn't get any production from the bench. The key in all of this was when Nick Nurse decided to take Kawhi Leonard and put him on the Greek freak. And once that happens, the entire offense of the Milwaukee Bucks appears to have been neutralized. It's three games to nothing since Nick Nurse made that adjustment. And by the looks of it, it'll be four come Saturday night. What do you hear from Milwaukee and their guys that, that, that you talked to? I mean, it's, I don't think it's a, a hopeless situation, but, but are there changes afoot for Milwaukee to try to flip this thing back over the next two games? Well, they got to take it one game at a time. That's going to be their mentality. But the reality is they were saying that after the series was tied 2-2. And in the end, it appears there's not much they can do about it. Again, everything flows through the Greek freak. You got to remember, the Greek freak is absolutely sensational. He's a dominant presence when he's in the paint. But what Kawhi Leonard has been able to assist drastically in doing is neutralizing that momentum that he has coming at you once he steps past half court, getting to that three-point line spot. If you stop that momentum in any way, it neutralizes him. And this is the playmaker. He's not just somebody that scores in the post. He creates shots for other guys. But the other guys can't get the open shots because Kawhi Leonard is all up in him. And not only that, you've got him getting some help. And then when you look for the secondary option or the Milwaukee Bucks, that is supposed to be Chris Middleton. He had six points tonight. Now, I understand you had some scoring from Brogdon and, and Brooke Lopez and stuff. But Middleton is an all-star. I don't want to hear six points from an all-star. You need more from him. He didn't give that to you tonight. That is a problem. And I, again, I mentioned the bench. The bench gave you virtually nothing. And that's what you're talking about right now. Chris Middleton, yes, two of nine. George Hill, okay off the bench, but that was the extent of it.